Hey guys, today we're going to react to the Super Mario Bros. movie, Cast Talk, Nostalgia, get into character and exciting new details. And uh, wow, this, wow, this title is too long, I could not even put that, even my, uh. Mario, do the Mario. All right, do the Mario. What did you do? I guess the cast are doing the interview. And there you go. Wow. Okay. This is such a highly anticipated movie. The fandom of Mario. I don't know if people realize this, but I'm just going to point it out. Mario is the most popular video game of all time. So just to yep. kick things off, what is it that we love about yep. Mario? Yep, I have a Nintendo Switch. Whether it's something exactly. from your childhood, the nostalgia, what is it about this guy that we love? I mean, uh, uh, for you me, play Mario. I play Mario. I, yeah, but yeah, I, you but have I, to answer it. But I, I can't, I think like it's multi-generational, right? It's like... Mario is this sort of pillar that supports the foundation of the childhood of my generation, of my kids' generation. Like, there's so many people, all of them remember the first time they played Mario. Mario is the everyman of the video game universe. Working yeah. Working job. Yeah, blue Getting color. out there and fighting against the Donkey Kong monsters. Mm -hmm. Everyone can, who can't relate to Mario? Right. Also, the theme song, maybe the best theme song right. of all the uh, How does that go? Yep. I, I, I like to imagine, like, the guy who pitched that, who, like, came in the studio, was like, guys, okay, just lay it down. It goes, wait, that, that. You get it? Yeah, wow. Wow. Okay. He goes into a tunnel and he goes. Right? Yeah, 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 you gotta wonder though if it was the first one, or they're like, nope, next. Oh yeah, I think that the the Mario Brothers song should be. Bro, I'm telling you, listen. You are rock. Ah. I just want to go down the line quickly <laughs> and ask each of you to name. You can do both if you want. Your favorite Mario suit or power up? I, I do like the cat suit. I think the cat suit's fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's just a, there's a, there's a, it's quick, it's frenetic. It's wow, Keegan. Buoyant. If that's the word I'm looking for? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking okay. for. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, call me a traditionalist. I'm, I'm going uh -huh. to go with just the, the straight up mushroom power up. Oh. The, the, thing, the thing that makes him go from just little to big. Just mm -hmm. a regular, just a regular red mushroom with white spots on it. What? Um, I'm just going to pick the best one by far. Sorry, you guys. I know you were going to say the superstar. Because you get it. Flower power, what the thing was, the power up that was like, it was like a fire one. Yeah, the fire one. That was good. Because I was like, not only my big. Now yep. I'm on the offense. Flower. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm oh, firing, you know uh, what I mean? The star, cool. and then you can get unless hit, it has a minute. If the star you has you know a I mean? minute like, limit, so that was, that was oh, the then it's my favorite you suit. Up, you, get to, you get to stay big when you Or 30 seconds. How about you? I, I Under 30 seconds? Just, think, nah. Just the basic ability to slam yourself into a pile of bricks and find coins. You know, yeah, like, that's a good idea. That's tough to beat. I mean, I wish I could do that. That did satisfy when you just. Yeah. Like do a so head, head yeah, on the just, yeah. Get them coins. Just bah. satisfying. Was yeah. there a line from the game, a sound effect, something that you got to do as voice actors or say, or a word that was iconic to your characters that was the most exciting? And I'm going to start with you, Chris. There were a few catchphrases. Mario has a couple catchphrases. It's a me. You know, uh, let's it's go. me. And trying Mario. to find a way to put, incorporate Mario. those in this 
it the movie was, was actually a kind of because it's a me is a tough thing to say. It, it's a me is a tough thing to say. <laughs> it's yeah. a me. I, as a 40 year old man, I don't think I've ever said it's me. <laughs> I thought it was pretty rad the way it was addressed in the movie where it starts off with like a commercial for the Mario Brothers plumbing company. Spoiler alert. Uh -oh. It's uh -oh. a me. A Mario. <laughs> nope, that's not the real voice. You see the real voice? That's not sure if it's the first thing you're going to say. Mushroom Kingdom, here we go. I guess the real Mario hated it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember uh, if Bowser ever said that before. I don't, is that is that an iconic that Bowser line? Has he knows. said "Open the gates" before? I don't know if he said I, it before, but you made it iconic. Open the thinking, gates. I wasn't thinking, uh, yeah, to to hit lines that he'd said. Open the gates. With full rage and uh, demonic powers, and that's why I wore this shirt today. I wore it specially for Bowser because mm. I think mm. of Bowser as kind of like a flaming Guy Fieri. Ready yeah. to throw down at any moment. Notice. Where did that fury come from? Fury, fury. I, <laughs> I just put that together. Those two words go Ah, oh, nice. That's the way with the flips, right? Fury. Uh, where Bowser's does the fury, fury come, come from? from? I thought it's because he cooks stuff. Uh, where does you, you're asking where does where does Bowser's fury come from, or, or where, does Jack Black's, where does Guy or Fieri? Guy Fieri. I don't know. Guy Fieri is furious because people make fun of him constantly. Yeah. So he brings yeah. a fire to battle the haters. <laughs> but I have fury and rage that I'm not one. I don't want to talk about it. But Bowser is, you know what? Bowser is insecure. At the end of the day, he's a jealous uh, creature uh, of uh, sort of uh, petty um, sadness. And his, his rage comes from like his uh, inability to communicate. With, with the people that he, he wants to have relationships with. Ah. Uh, did you know we yeah. were going to go down this road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. Very uh, sad. Walking around with something that heavy on your back constantly, right? That's just got to be frustrating. It's a metaphor. Wait, have, give yeah. us some spoilers, great, Jack. Well, all of the great villains have this seed of insecurity at, at their core. That's my theory. <laughs> that's true. I think that's true. In, uh, in uh, uh, movies and in life. You know we did see the movie, yeah. right, Jack? Okay. <laughs> Next well, question. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Mario, what kind of hero is he in this movie for fans who cannot wait to see this? What can you oh. tell us about what kind of Mario we need? Mario's a little guy, you know, so he's got, uh, he's got that attitude that he wants to stick up for people. He wants to stand up for himself. He never gives up. He doesn't quit. He doesn't know how to quit. And um, I think that he's, he's really confident. Mm, he yeah. Loves, he loves his brother. He loves his family, and he believes. Luigi, um, Mamma Mia. Uh, yeah, I think. By the way, uh, Luigi is kidnapped um, because of the trailer. Because of that <laughs> dang trailer. <laughs> you know why? Um, thank you. I want to. It gives us the best part: trailers. You know what? No, you, you were so deep. That you dragged <laughs> all of us down with in, you in a good way. I'll go down. Good way down. <laughs> yeah. Good way down. Yeah. Charlie, yeah, this good. is called Super Mario Brothers, so we have to talk about Luigi. He yeah. is an internet favorite. People love Luigi. Luigi reminds me of the person you can relate to. He's got some fear. So uh, tell me about this brother relationship that they have in this movie. Uh, uh, people like an underdog, you know, and uh, I, I, he doesn't have a lot going for him. He just loves his brother, and, you know, he's willing to follow him down the Mario. Life, down life, I guess. And hey. um, I was thrilled to play him because uh, it's nice to be Mario! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was good. You know, that was, that was a change for me. I I, 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 from what I understand, that you weren't necessarily given all the scripts. You would go into the voice recording booth and you would just sort of like... Uh, I like to just work in the dark. Uh, okay. you know? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of find the character. And there's a lot of research and a lot of, you know, I called Jack and he... He, he said he talks a lot with Christian Bale, and then they kind of like walked me through I did get some acting tips, not from Christian, but I heard about his method. Yeah. yeah. Standing yeah. close to him. And mm. so, uh, yeah. Able to get into the core of the guy. So, I love this. Christian Bale, is that what you did to Channel Bowser? You went full. I want to make clear Christian Bale's not in the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> don't but say that. Some of the. <laughs> <laughs> I not too late. Not too late. But, uh, yeah. Uh, or I'm is very, he? I'm a very Christian Baleian actor when you get right down Ah, uh, nice. Seth, uh, when I was a kid, my first 
video game experience, I had one of those Game & Watches, and it was a Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. And my brother and I had, like, we went, we were fighting, like a finger was broken fighting over playing that game because we wanted to play that game so bad. You are, I think, probably the only actor in history that was in a Steven Spielberg movie and played Donkey Kong in the same year. And, ah, that. you I mean, know, that's incredible. And, and I set out to do it, is what's <laughs> more, than, more than anything. Both those things are on my vision board. Uh, yeah, that is, yeah. So what kind of, what can you tell us about the Jungle Kingdom that we're going to see? I know Fred Armisen is playing your yep, dad. Tell me is. about the father-son relationship and what are we going to see in Donkey Kong's world in this movie? Um, it's pretty mm. amazing. It's visually spectacular. They, they make carts. There's a, it's a cart-driven economy. They, 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 they seem to thrive on... Uh, yeah, it's cart-based <gasps> economy. And Fred Armisen in real life have a pretty awkward relationship, so it is reflected well on the film. Um, no, I'm it's... not alone in that. Uh, I, I shall speak be like... Luigi! <laughs> In general, yeah. And Mario's so about, sad. You know why? Video gaming memories. I think in real, in, in the, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Mario Brothers in the gaming world are introduced through Donkey Kong. They correct. Are, correct. Yeah, that's, that's that's the only correct. one of them. Mario. Yeah, only just, Mario. Just Mario. Yeah. So they didn't go that way with the movie. They they decided to use the brothers as the way into Donkey Kong. Keegan, yes, Toad is adorable. Oh, well, the please. visuals of Toad, adorable. You are a Shakespearean actor, and from what I understand, you really channeled, like you really got into the heart of this character to play Toad. So can you talk a little bit about how you found the voice of Toad? The director and I, um, I, 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 I was working with my, um, uh, my, my partner and like acting coach on, on the on the work, and I was trying to, I was channeling actually a friend of mine, and the way that he sees the world and the way that he kind of looks at things and, the, and, and syntax and stuff like that. And I ah. brought that to the director. Okay. And, oh, uh, and, okay. And Very the nice. The voice was, it was like, we knew it would be higher in a higher register. So part of what I wanted to do was hit the syntax, but also almost pretend like I was sucking on a helium balloon. <laughs> while ah, I was doing the nice. Like, at least, like, thinking helium. And trying to get a trick the sound. Helium. Like, like, like pinching the sound. Like, the, you know, a person sounds when they're doing helium? And that you're pinching it a little bit and just, I was trying to, and then he would go higher. I'm like, pinch, pinch, pinch it a little bit. <laughs> and, and, uh, King, I know, I know it's, I'm so sorry, a little bit higher. I just want to do whatever it was, because like, he was in Paris. And I was in the States, <laughs> it's like three in the morning, he's doing this recording session. I'm like, anything you want. Anything. So it was just getting high, it was trying to get as high as we could and still have a certain comfort level within the voice. You know what I mean? Wow, so Keegan. That's exactly how I played him. Okay. Um, so, okay. Wow, Keegan. <laughs> that's in the notes. Okay. But no, it, was, it, was, it was a really fun, exploratory experience. Bob, you know, to try to, to try to Princess find Bubblegum. And try to get, the, try to get those... Princess Bubblegum. Like Princess Bubblegum. Kind of a new version of, of Toad at the same time, you know? And that, and also like, what? Yeah, yeah, so that was that was kind of, that was the process. Maybe you can talk, and you and Chris can talk a little bit about this relationship between Mario and Toad in this film. I, I mean, for, for, for me, my big thing about Toad was that I think he's been looking for an adventure in his life. I think he's been wanting to be the guy who could step up. Oh my god, it's Princess Bubblegum. You know, like he wants, he's like, I'm, I'm up for an adventure. Princess Bubblegum. I think like discover each other without, without, you know, no spoiler alerts here, but when, when they, when they encounter each other the Princess first time, Bubblegum. I think partially what's going on is Toad's kind of out in the perimeter of Mushroom Kingdom, because he wants to make sure, he kind of like Princess wants to make sure nothing's going down. I've got this situation a lock, and that he's he wants to make it. So I think that's when they just when they find Princess Bubblegum. He doesn't see him in the city. He sees him out in the wilderness because he's like he's patrolling. He wa he wants something to protect. Princess he wants Bubble his Cub. life to have some kind of meaning. He's got that backpack on. Oh, he's, he's ready, ready to go. Oh, he's ready to go. He's ready. <laughs> he's ready to go, man. He's out there with the wilder people. Do you want to add to that in any way? Uh. Mario's perspective on that friendship. Well, I think you know it's like uh, Mario was uh, moving. It comes into Mushroom Kingdom. It's a little like if you were a new kid at school and all of a sudden this kid comes up next to you and you're like, I'm not sure, like, I kind of want to do this on my own a little bit because I'm not sure if I want, like, <laughs> if we're supposed to be friends, like, I'm at a new school. I feel like Mario was like that. Toad kind of just, like, sticks to his side and then, and then he's like, nice. right, you know what? For better or worse, this is my guide. This is my guide through this world. And they become bros. And, uh... He and you know Toad has an extraordinary opportunity to 
to step up and, and do the thing he's always dreamed of doing, which is like saving his uh, his world. His, his beloved oh, world. nice. What's so exciting is I know just from the, I haven't seen the film, but from the trailers I've seen, there's so much detail. There are so many callbacks to every single Mario game. Yeah. And, 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 and oh, era, okay. Every era of the game. Too. And you can go for hours, like watching all the little like Easter eggs that they've just been put into that. So can you tease to the audience, kind of like each of you, or something that you can't that you're allowed to say, something you can't wait for audiences to see, whether it's a kingdom, a power up, something. Uh, that because it just looks incredible from what I've seen in that first little uh, sneak preview that they do mm -hmm. where, where where you're in the forest and you and, and I find you and I'm like hey come you know come, yeah. come to this place come, this guy's brother is in trouble like you know come to this place I think that we've shown that already but in that one you can hear you can see as we're walking through the town that there's a guy standing at a stand I don't know if you remember seeing this standing at a stand and he's buying an antique and he goes, are you sure this is going to work? And he goes, it's easy, just blow on it. You just blow on it. And you're going, as, and, and there's little Easter, and you go, oh my God, just like back in the day when you had to take the cartridges and... Luigi. Back, 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 yeah, that's right. And you're going, oh my God, that's brilliant. It's mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. And there's and there's, there's those little seeds. Those little Luigi. Seeds throughout the, the film. It's fantastic. Yeah. Princess Bubblegum. And, and not just, yeah, not just to the sort of lore of owning a Nintendo or having the old 8-bit cartridges that you had to blow on, but also, you know, it's really promises this sort of almost Nintendo universe in yeah, a way, yeah, like yeah, this Nintendo yeah. cinematic universe, because you meet us, you meet Mario and Luigi early on and they're in a pizza parlor and you're seeing all over, uh, it's like punch out pizza or something. So it's all based <laughs> yeah, on the game yeah. punch out. And so that you have all like the characters from, from that game. Jack, anything to add, Seth, Charlie? I thought it was pretty rad when you get to the Mario Kart on the rainbow road scene. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's yeah, back that was my favorite that's sequence by yeah. far. I, I think it's nice. in people's minds because it's it's uh, just as exciting and fun as like when you're a kid playing that game. Uh, it, it's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, and also, any time that Bowser's on screen is just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Who's doing yeah. this? Yeah. Who's that? Sometimes it felt like they got Metallica to play. I don't know who that is, but it's like some real heavy metal monster energy. Uh, I was into it. Sorry to play. I miss better. No, I yeah, know. No, sure. I mean, you are really, <laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> really good. There, is, there is. Dude, also Mario Donkey Kong Showdown. Pretty <laughs> That's pretty good. That's yeah, epic. Yeah, yeah. That pretty is good. Epic. Also good. Pretty good. Yeah. Do you want to toot your own horn, Seth? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a kid's movie. I'm, I'm just really happy just to be a part of it. Uh, yeah, Princess you know, Bubblegum. Just happy to have anything, just to be, you know, in the game and uh, player B, but, you know, just, just in the mix. It's pretty sweet. I think he went method because that is so Luigi. That's yeah. Luigi energy yeah. right, right there. Luigi. Thank you all so much. Thank you. This was wonderful. Yeah, I cannot wait to see this movie. This is only level yep. one. It might be game over for the interview, but you can go get your tickets. Oh, nice. right yeah, I wish I have tickets. On Fandango, you'll get a power up if you do it. Thanks for joining. That was great. <laughs> that was so many puns. That was incredible. <laughs> that was well done. That was a fun game. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I hope you enjoy, y'all enjoy the new Super Mario movie next month. New Super Mario. That's the end of this video, and I'll see you next time.